Well, Sam, I am here with something from listener Melinda, who says it would be very interesting to learn about populations which adapted to high elevation life through evolutionary changes. I'm interested, too. Yeah. First off, I am not cut out for high altitude life. Are you a person who gets sick really easily when you go to higher altitudes? Not that I noticed. I just I like things easy. (laughs) So um, a lot of times when people talk about people living at high elevations, a lot of what we know comes from people who live in the Andes. And so there have been different studies going on to look at multiple gene regions for people who live in the Andes. There are some genes that people have found, you know, they might do things like regulate vascular control. We've also found people in this area, they have lungs that have like a somewhat larger volume so that they can take in more air, but they're able to breathe at the same rate as like you and me because their red blood cells are actually able to carry more oxygen and deliver oxygen around the body better. And one of the ways they do this is by having a higher concentration of hemoglobin in the blood. Then there are Tibetans and they actually will usually breathe more breaths every minute than people at sea level. So they usually go for this higher breathing rate method. Another thing that we've seen with Tibetan um, people is their lungs make a lot of nitric oxide gas, which increases the diameter of blood vessels. So that might be the way that they're increasing blood flow around their body. So I just thought that's a really interesting mechanism. 